I'm at home, bro. Coming at you. And uh, hey, here we are. We're gonna have a fun little one today. I mean, we're, this, we're this is an interesting stoned. one. We're gonna get stoned. We're gonna get stoned for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, so we're gonna do. We're we're, we're here to kind of, in a way, do the espresso imperial Russian stout by Stone. Yeah. But we're going to do that by way of having some of the regular. These are the 2013 batches. And Collins never had this. No. Therefore, never had this. Of course. So we've got to start with the regular. It's a good starting point for tasting notes. And then we'll switch over and kind of see the difference. So it's kind of a beer review of both. But uh, to kind of compare the odd year 2013 release of the Espresso Imperial Russian Stout. Lucky which is 13. a Russian Imperial Stout. <laughs> And lucky 13, because both of our birthdays are on the 13th. Of our different months, but yes. Yeah, what do you got? Absolutely. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. We're going to get this popped open, and then uh, we'll come back with it. All right. Let's do it. Hopefully, you can hear us over the breeze, because it's been warm here. But take a look at that. Is that beautiful? Now, that's the regular 2013. Look at that nice, beautiful mocha. Some big, rocky bubbles and nice yeah. cream. Yeah, definitely. The small bubbles on the bottom. Completely opaque. Oh yeah, there, there's not even a chance that's, of seeing any color. That's about as close to black as you'll get just about. Pretty much. Let's get a nose on this one. Oh, classic. Mm. Oh yeah, immediately I'm, I'm getting the espresso and, uh, and some dark malts going on, I think. Yeah, and you do get some espresso in the regular. That's one of the interesting aspects it's, of this. Yeah, that's interesting. I also got some like sweet malt on there as well. Yes, I have to agree with that. Mm. I almost get like a like a berry or towards a currant type flavor on that. Yeah, They're really kind of deep and rich though. It's uh, not. Not a light sweet, you know? No, it's it's kind of like a tangy sweet, but it's that's hard to describe, kind of. <laughs> yeah, and, and almost like a little bit of burnt, some burnt malt on it actually yeah. as well. Yeah, I think that's what it is, a little bit of the burnt going on. But it's, it's balanced out with the kind of this mocha chocolate, like dark chocolate mm -hmm. with the burnt Definitely. malts. Really, really nice, yeah. you know? All right. You ready? Yeah, let's. let's oh, he'll be, he let loves this stuff. Oh, is that not wonderful? Mm. That is good, people. That is. That, oh, that's tasty. Uh, I haven't had a fresh one in a long time. I've always, I've always had this like aged one. This is like this creamy mouthfeel. What a yeah. full, full mouthfeel, right? Yeah, definitely. Just. Yeah, I mean, just well, I got the head off at first. Well, this is this beautiful course. cream, but oh my god! Yeah, cream. it's it's definitely very creamy. You're kind of getting a molasses and burnt flavor coming through. Absolutely, it's almost. I don't know. Yeah, I'm almost getting a little bit of like a like a chocolate or milk chocolate. The way it coats your mouth. It's, yes. It's not overly thick, but it's not too caramely almost or something. It's it's kind of like a creamy, milky kind of I coating. I agree. I feel like I get some like a milk chocolate as well mm -hmm. as I get like a dark chocolate on it. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm getting both in it. And that's yeah. got to be the mix of the different malts. Yeah, definitely. Going on. Malts coming through. But I am, I'm getting some caramel on it. I'm getting a little yeah. bit of caramel. I get... But you said molasses, and I do. I get some of that, like molasses yeah. filling off of it as well. I still get kind of these burnt, like really dark, roasty, almost burnt malt type flavor on yes, it. Yes, definitely. That that's that comes very in strong. very strong, kind of mixed with the molasses. I comes think. in strong at the back, so you yeah. know that the IBUs. By the way, we didn't say so. The regular is the ABV is 10.6 percent, and the IBUs are 60. Yeah. We're gonna get to the espresso in a minute, but just for comparison's sake. Slightly higher ABV at 11% with espresso, and slightly higher IBUs at 65. Yeah, when when you're taking a sip of this, you're you're getting that that burnt kind of flavor <coughs> with the molasses and the cream, and it's the molasses is kind of hitting the back of your throat with that with that bitterness. Yeah. That's that's yeah. kind of where it's hitting you. Yeah, definitely. So it kind of it leaves that flavor in the in the back of the throat. 
with you, which is kind of fun. All right. Damn. All right, we're going to set this aside. <laughs> we're going to crack the other one open. All right. All right, we, we had to go with a slightly different glass to differentiate, so, you know. Of course. And, um, but uh, I wanted to mention that the, they use the espresso beans from Ryan Brothers Coffee. I'm assuming they're late, right. located in the San Diego County someplace. Probably. So, all right. Very similar, you know, this doesn't have as broad of a top, but very similar looking head. Yeah, you're, you're not quite same getting basic as rocky colors. at the top, but yeah, I mean, same colors, roughly the same bubbles going on the, on the head. So, all right, let's get a nose on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> you get... <laughs> Immediately, you get a much thicker espresso. Not just coffee, but espresso kind of smell off of that. Yeah, you know, right up front. Right up front, you get like a kind of a coffee espresso kind of whole yeah. aroma going on for sure. Which actually almost brings forward a little bit more of the malts and almost a little bit more of a dark chocolate. Exactly. You nailed yeah. that. It's I was exactly going to say it's that. It's chocolatey, but not the same as the, the regular. It's definitely a darker cocoa, and it's a darker malt kind of thing. Yes. I'm not getting as much of the fruity kind of smell in it, though. No, no, I'm not either. Maybe there's there's a little bit of sweetness coming off the aroma. But I also here. get a little bit of a, like a milk chocolate aroma too as I take it. So I mean I got some deep yeah. dark, but I also got some uh, of that milk chocolate aroma. But yeah, you're it's right. like all kind of accentuated because you got so much of the coffee espresso going yeah, on. That that's the first thing that hits you. It's it's like walking into a, a Starbucks or a Pete's or whatever. I mean you name it, coffee shop. When you were first walk in, maybe early in the morning when there's a lot of flavors going on. It just, it hits you like a I can just keep shop. smelling this. Mm. So good, so good. All right. So chocolatey, so, so coffee-like. Dive in. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Much more of that espresso coming yep. through. So, I mean, definitely the, the, the roasted beans, the espresso flavors. Yeah take the forefront of the beer but I mean that's what it's all about with this one so I still get that some of that burnt dark yeah. char malt definitely a lot of that coming through it takes on kind of a different complexity though it's, mm -hmm. it's more beachy smoky almost to me. yeah 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 you're also still getting a lot of the chocolate um, it's not quite as smooth and milk chocolatey it's more of the no. dark cocoa coming through but it's, it still comes through fairly creamy, though I don't think it's yep. nearly as creamy as the regular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more of the bitterness. It's uh, that that espresso coffee coming through. Although you did have some on the regular, it's uh, you're getting more of a dark espresso on this. It, it'd be more of a bold roast. Um, something that's been roasted longer definitely coming through in that espresso, I think. And that, that brings more of that bitterness through too, I think. Colin is somewhat of a coffee expert, so he has been a barista for and, three years yeah, at one point. So he has that knowledge going with him. And, but I would also point out that it's 65 IBUs. It's got that extra 5%, but yeah. obviously they, they kick a little bit more in. So it kicks a little more, yeah. It doesn't, however, I don't think the bitterness hangs out as long in the back of the throat either, though. I think. I think it huh, kind of hits huh. you at first, but then the uh, the amount of espresso kind of kind of pulls that out pretty quickly. You're right. It, it kind of dries it off a little bit yeah. more, doesn't it? The whole beer dries off a little bit more. Where the other, yeah. you did have a more of that burnt taste kind of hanging in longer. So now it's time to double fist it. So we're gonna do a quick back and forth. Yeah. So all right, regular. All right, back over this one. Back here. Mm. Breakfast! This screams breakfast <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> I'm just saying, this just says, you know what? I'm going to have dessert for breakfast. Why not? Cheers. Oh, yeah. Hey, if, if you're camping, if you're on vacation, you want to have coffee, but you're also doing one of those beer vacations or alcohol vacations, wake up with this, man. It's got your coffee. It's got your beer. You can't lose, right? I like that. Then at night, just forget the s'mores. Go right over to this one. Yeah. Why not? Time to do uh, ratings as a Russian Imperial Stout for the Imperial Russian Stout uh, 2013. Mm. 
what do you got from me? All right, well, starting with the regular one here, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to say a 98. I mean, it's it's pretty solid. We've had some stellar stellar beers lately, and it's it still ranks up there. Not quite my favorite, but it's still pretty amazing. It's got a nice sweet flavor. It's really creamy. It brings a lot of full frontal flavor. It gives a nice linger in there. So I'm I'm gonna have to go with a solid 98. I, I totally respect that, and I'm gonna stick with a 98 right with Colin. We're gonna stick with this one which is the regular, and we're going to say overall. I know, it's, it's tough to say. I don't know if I can drop it at all. I, I'd still say a 97 or a 98, honestly, I think. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's got great flavor. It's got smokiness, and it's got, yeah, it's got just about everything you could ask for, I think. I mean, and, and I'm only going to drop one point to 97. Uh, I no. mean, it, it just <laughs> really is. It's that killer of beer. Well, we've just been having too damn much fun over here. We're back, though, and we're rating this the 2013 Espresso Imperial Russian Stout from Stone on style as a stout, a Russian Imperial Stout. I, I do have to drop down. I mean, I, I totally enjoy this one. It is really delicious, but it's still, it's still way up there. I'm sorry. For me, it's still a full-on A beer. I'm giving it a 96. That's that bump it just the bump to keep it in the world class because it is a world class beer this is a phenomenally good beer for me yeah and and i i'm gonna have to agree i was i was still thinking that it was about a 97 myself fair so, enough i mean it's it's still great it's it brings a lot of full frontal flavor you know and it, it's really chocolatey almost in a way and and really coffee like but you know it almost brings too much of that bitterness at, at points when you take a full mouthful and then it fades a little bit quicker than the other one. But I can't deny that it's got a lot of great flavor, a lot of the same quality as it is roughly the same beer. And, and it's still, I'd say it's still world, world class. So now we're going to go for the overall. I'm going to go to a 94. I'm going to put it in the excellent category, the top of excellent category. Not world class, but top of excellent. And yet, Really good beer. Really, really, yeah. really good yeah. beer. And, and I still have to, you know, I have to agree. I'd, I'd have to drop it to a 96 or, or a 95. I, it's really Come tough in. for me. I, 95! I'm sorry. It just, it dries out so fast. It's a really great yeah. flavor. It comes on really strong, but it really, it doesn't last too long. You have to keep constantly sipping this thing to get, keep that flavor in. And yet it's something that you've got to sip slow. It's not a chugging beer. So I think that's kind of that's what drops it. That's the addiction it. factor. Yeah, well. You dry out and you make him have to have another taste. It's the addiction factor. Anyway. Darn you guys. Damn it. And I I, I have two glasses to finish. It's tough. It is it's tough. It's a tough life it's we It's tough live. doing what we do. We do it for you because we love the community and beer reviewers. We do it all for you. This is Clement Homebrew saying life is too short to drink cheap beer. And we will see you at the next beer review. So, so happily. Cheers. Cheers. Really? Really? Helicopters now? Really? This looks like a military one. This thing is big. I have to whisper because Black. they're probably monitoring. Don't let the government hear you. I, I don't think he can catch us anymore. All right. Well, I think we're good. Yeah, because we're, we're stoned. I mean, uh, drunk. It's stone. Yeah. Drink. yeah. Stone drunk? Yeah. We're stone, stone drunk. Stone drunk. <laughs>